I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is December the 8th, 2019, and Christmas is in the air. I got this little tree here and all these uh, ornaments that came from World Market, you know, fairies and uh, angel wings and <laughs> a lot of fun uh, with, with this little tiny little tree here. Uh, but I got a special for the channel. I am... Um, I'm going to do a guided reading on Putin and the GOP, giving us some background. I know we've done that in the past, but uh, this is going to relate to the whole of the GOP, including Trump, Barr, Senate, senators, uh, uh, you know, uh, House members, and uh, you know what's what's going on, what's going on right now. I'm using the Sarah Marchetti. A deck, the Gilded Tarot, and my guides also uh, chose a oracle card for us from Doreen Virtue's Ascended Masters. I hope you enjoyed the, <laughs> the longer than usual beginning. Uh, I wanted to do a little collage of all the moments, the outrageous moments that uh, have occurred that have been right in our face regarding uh, the Republican uh, relationship with Russia, including, uh, you know, the, do you remember the time the <laughs> eight senators just kind of went to Russia on the 4th of July, the 2016, you know, met with uh, um, the, uh, is it uh, Lavrov, who's the, um, I have notes here, uh, the, uh, the Russian minister and, uh, you know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> of course, you would choose the Fourth of July to to go to Moscow, and we don't really know what they met about. There's vague uh, um, uh, descriptions and explanations, uh, but nothing really concrete. Uh, and who can forget the time, or did we forget the time when uh, Lavrov and Kislyak came to the White House, met with Donald Trump, without uh, any American press there. They, the American press were not allowed. And uh, all kinds of uh, uh, security breaches occurred and the giving away of some of our, our, our uh, national secrets. And <laughs> uh, up to now, just recently, Lev Parnas and uh, uh, 
uh, Igor Fruman and meeting with Giuliani and and in all of that of course Manafort and his relationship with the Russians and so on and so forth. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Uh, so let's get on with the reading. Uh, when I do a guided reading, I ask my guides to show me the cards psychically, and then I ask them why they chose those cards. So the first card they chose, the devil. This represents Putin, Putin at the center. Above, Ten of Wands. When I asked my guides about this card, they said, this is the Russians and the uh, and he does represent like a, I mean look like a, a Russian surf doesn't he this guy uh, carrying the GOP on, on on his back all the wands represent the the GOP uh, this represents the GOP the the uh, the money that uh, the dark money that w was uh, contributed to their campaigns <clears throat> loans being paid off um, uh, you know, uh, uh, the uh, opportunity to invest in uh, oil and, and, and things like that, the all kinds of uh, um, enticements to uh, ally with the Russians. This is an interesting card. So the, this, the, and this is also debt, you know, the uh, uh, Russians picking up all of, all of these debts, Trump's debts, you know, Deutsche Bank and uh, Bannon's debts and <laughs> yeah, because Bannon's, Steve Bannon's in there too. Uh, so it's a heavy load, but in return, Russia owns them. So R Russia, yeah, they're, they're, they're picking up their, 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 the burden is the debt and, and, and the contributions and all of that. But also, um, the uh, interference in the election, the Russians having bought the, these, them into power. But in doing so, now they are owned. Lock, stock, and barrel, the whole of the GOP owned by the Russians. Except maybe one or two, I would imagine Amash, Amash has kind of stayed out of the fray. But uh, for, for the whole, for the, for the most of the whole, Yes, owned by the Russians. In the past, Three of Pentacles. Now, when I asked my guides why they chose this card, they said this has to do with the behind the scenes deals that the GOP have been making with, with Putin. Uh, and so I asked, well, how far back does, does this go? Well, they say, and I, and I actually know from research that, um, that, you know, this is this, collusion, so to speak, or um, uh, this, uh, 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 yeah, th th this, th 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 this, this conspiracy has been go gone back a long time, even 30 years uh, with um, uh, Jack Abramoff going over to meet to Russia at the, the sorry, evangelicals. Uh, uh, but the, uh, this, they want to, they want to start at 2016. And they want to start at the uh, 2016 4th of July meeting that the senators had with the Russians, because that was extremely significant. So basically, they said what was discussed behind the scenes were what did Russia want from us, and what were they going to? What was the transaction? What 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 were they going to give? Uh, uh, the GOP individually and collectively what was going to be exchanged so my guide said uh, the major things were the Russians wanted the sanctions being lifted and they wanted uh, the Crimea they wanted America to help destabilize the uh, Ukraine and they wanted to take the Crimea In return, dark money contributions, money laundering, uh, and uh, loans, paying off loans, uh, 
flooding money to uh, these people. Also, um, uh, allowing, you know, oh, oh, yeah, the other thing was, again, in, uh, interfering with the elections for the, for the next election, for the, the 2020 elections. So Russia was agreeing to do that in return. This is what they wanted. There were other things they probably wanted to, but the major things were the lifting of the sanctions and uh, Crimea. Oh, also to, to be part of the, the, you know, to be the G, part of the G7 uh, again, or the G8, if, if they, they were able to join. And, and then, you know, destabilizing NATO, all those other things are coming to mind. But the two major things were the Crimea and the sanctions. Underneath, King of Pentacles, this represents the oligarchs. Supporting Putin, uh, and, and, and it, it really is them, but, but you know, it's going to supply the money. And Putin will steal it from the Russian people too. But th this is to do with uh, with the, with the oligarchs and, and and deep deep pockets. Near future, the tower. My guides uh, say that this has to do with the unraveling of the GOP. That uh, the GOP appeared to be a strong foundation, an impenetrable fortress what we talk about with Trump, Teflon president, no matter what he does, nothing seems to bring him down. Uh, the GOP seemed to be able to get away with anything, uh, destroying voter rights, um, running rough shot, shot uh, um, over, uh, you know, what, whatever the American people <laughs> seem to want, the, you know, if the, senator, if the GOP doesn't want it, then, then you know, they're not, they're not going to do it. And, uh, they're bullies, you know, they, they just kind of uh, do whatever they want. And that seems to be what how they have presented themselves. And especially when the House was Republican, too. But I, I my guides um, gave me the word unraveling. So even though up to this point, uh, no matter what blows they've taken, they seem to be able to withstand them. They, they're not going to be able to withstand these blows anymore. Uh, and the GOP surely will unravel, and their relationship with Putin will unravel too. So that includes Trump. No longer the all-powerful Oz, <laughs> the man behind the the, you know, the curtain is you know going to be seen, and that man behind the curtain is vulnerable and weak. I asked for a clarifying card. They gave me the Wheel of Fortune, and basically they said that. This has to do with, you know, what comes up must go down. So the, the fortunes of the GOP and Putin are changing. And uh, they're no longer going to be able to uh, run roughshod over uh, the American <laughs> uh, government and our democracy. It's, it, their, their time is now coming. Uh, their power is now coming to an end, and now we're going to see their fall. What comes up must go down. The um, uh, uh, what is it? The 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 the, the uh, taller you are, the harder you fall. The bigger you are, something like that. But that the fall is very hard. Everything's coming crashing down. So it occurred to me that uh, to ask also about Putin. I was listening to Linda G earlier today. And uh, she said something big coming uh, that we don't know about. And I asked my guides about that. And they said, yes, yeah, something on our part, something big is coming. Uh, it's information that's just going to, again, blow things out of the water. I believe it's a love parness uh, uh, that is going to bring that information. Uh, but this information is going to illuminate even more uh, the behind the scenes uh, uh, relationship of the GOP and Russia regarding money. But I, I also asked about Putin. My guide said that there is also this happening with Putin, who for a very long time has appeared uh, 
invulnerable. This is impregnable or was an impregnable fortress. But behind the scenes, uh, the, the GOP, I'm sorry, the GOP, the um, oligarchs are becoming very dissatisfied with Putin because he is not delivering what he said he would deliver. And they're having some issues now with money. They're having some problems they never had before because, you know, and not just this country, but other countries are watching them and they can't get their hands on certain resources. And they're, they're now wondering if Putin really is who they thought he was. They really thought he was the man and he was delivering. He got the you know, president of the United States in his pocket. He got him elected. Wow. But now they're, they're seeing uh, the cracks behind the, uh, the cracks in the facade, I shouldn't say behind the facade, in the facade. And there is grumbling going on because when money is concerned, things get real. And Putin needs his oligarchs to be strong, to be powerful. But there is a uh, dissension there and uh, the support is not like it was. And so he's in trouble. He, it may not appear that he's in trouble, but he's in trouble. And that very well may bring an end to his uh, autocracy. The uh, clarifying card oh, is death. And uh, when the guides bring up death, what they're talking about is what happens when <laughs> this guy hits the ground. It ends. It's the end of the GOP as we know it. It's the end of their, their uh, reign of terror. The outcome card, Ten of Swords. This has come up in a lot of my readings with the GOP. Basically, I, and I asked for a clarifying card, which was the Eight of Pentacles. It means that they have created their own demise. Their conspiracy, collusion, whatever you want to call it, selling their soul to the devil, selling their soul to Putin has wrought this. And they're all in it together. And it is going to end all of them, the ones who participated. There, you can't uh, extricate yourself anymore from this if you're one of them. And and it's coming. <laughs> this tower is falling on your back. You, you, you can look at it that way. It's going to be interesting to see what happens this week and what information comes out, but I do think that it, there's going to be huge bombshells of information coming out that are going to illuminate us regard, even more regarding the heinous uh, nefarious deeds of the GOP, including Trump, and uh, what's going, what was going on behind our back or what is going on behind our back. And I know this is just not with Russia. I know it has to do with the Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabians and the Turks and uh, wh whoever, um, uh, and usually it's, <laughs> it's the ty ty tyrants, right? The, um, the strong men who, uh, uh, Trump and the GOP seem to like to do dirty deals with behind our, uh, the backs of others. Uh, but that's coming out. Not, nothing is going to remain hidden. This is a time where everything comes to light. We will see. The card that my guides chose for us from the Ascended Masters deck by Doreen Virtue is positive change, and, and, and this is Pavarati. She's a Hindu goddess, one of the wives of Shiva. Your likes and dislikes have changed, and you've outgrown situations that once appealed to you. These are positive developments, signaling your spiritual growth. Some of these situations are blessings in disguise, as they're pushing you to make necessary and positive changes. You may feel pushed beyond your comfort zone right now as multiple areas of your life shift and flux, yet the universe always stands ready to support you with whatever you ask for. Let go and enjoy this ride because it is truly for the best. Additional meanings uh, of this card are let go of procrastination or perfectionism, break your major uh, goals into baby steps and take one step at a time. Since Pavarati, pa sorry, Paravati is the goddess of mountains. Did I say Pavarati before? It's Paravati, and I apologize for my mistake if I did. 
Since Parvati is the goddess of mountains, this could be a message to retreat or move to the mountains. Revamp your schedule so that you can divide regular time to your priorities. Be assertive in saying no to anything that diverts you from your path. I want to remind people I do uh, personal readings and I'll leave uh, my information uh, at the end of this video as well as below. Uh, contact me if you want to know more about my services. Everybody have a beautiful rest of your day, night, evening, and uh, I will get back with you soon. My love to you all.